After talking with more than 200 high earners like entrepreneurs, investors, politicians, and celebrities in business clubs, business meetings, fundraising, for private equity, and through friends, I found what high-value men want in their wives. Once I've observed a sufficient number of the upper class, patterns and rules emerge. This video will summarize what they generally wish to have in common with their wives. With a clear vision, you can get there faster when you are young. You do not want to dress in Chanel and drive a Ferrari when you are in your 60s. Are you ready to dig into the rich's head? Let's start! Number 1. Rich men marry women who want to marry them. Well, it sounds straightforward, but actually not. Not every woman wants to marry rich, and neither could they. So sad. Like 99% of people work from paycheck to paycheck, never able to make their first gold to set them free from selling time for money. But once a person accumulates enough capital, his life is changed forever. He could now live on the return and interests of investment and have all his time to do whatever he wants. Start a new business, learn a new hobby, travel globally, and access brand new connections and resources that most people never experienced in their whole life. The button line theory is the same for dating. 99% of women never dated men from the upper class. Some never thought about it. Some do not know where to meet them, and some blow off wonderful opportunities because of no dating skills. The most difficult thing for a woman who wants to use marriage to change her life or upgrade her social class is to get her first rich man, and everything after that is way easier. You only need your first rich man to help shape you into a true lady. You frequent the finest restaurant and know how to appreciate the best food. You travel globally in the first class or private jet, becoming a rich cultural woman with exciting stories to tell. You socialize with his successful friends, opening up more career opportunities. You upgrade your wardrobe with more classic and expensive picks to make you look like you belong to the high society. All those are the stepping stones for your future, even if you two break up. Social climbing is one step at a time. You can never return to your old life once you taste luxury and glamorous in high society. Some lucky women have no idea when they are young, but bump into rich men who treat them well. Then they decide to marry rich to continue this jet-setting life. Once they make that decision, they turn the random thing of accidentally meeting one rich man into a definite thing by only dating the rich. Your mindset influences your behavior and your behavior changes your result. In all the cases I saw, the women who have successful men committed to them are those who are determined and dedicated to marrying to the high society. They have a strong mindset and do not buy men's sweet words to lower their standards, especially those pretty women raised in low-income families who are ambitious to change their lives. They consider their only chance for social climbing is through marriage, so they keep dating successful men until they get a proposal. It takes effort, time, and money to date, especially in the early stages of a relationship. Have you heard about opportunity cost? The loss of potential gain from other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. The time you spend dating and studying will sacrifice your leisure and sleep time. Many rich men want you to be a full-time housewife to care for the children. I heard a businessman say that if his wife wants to start her own business and leave their three young children to the nannies, he must divorce her, since he spent almost all his time working to achieve the result as an industry leader. He needed a woman to take care of the family. This is a man giving his wife $50,000 a month of pocket money besides the living expenses for the whole family. Overall, how much you want to marry the rich? how much effort you plan to level up yourself, and how much time you invest in your relationship determine how high of the chance you will marry the rich. Number two, the rich love high-value women. In this course, I discuss marriage as a hardcore measurement of value exchange. If a man dates you but does not marry you, you do not match up with his value in his eyes. 
Rich men are often open to dating any woman as long as they like you somehow. However, it is totally different for a marriage. A successful man will evaluate your overall aspects and make a careful decision. It is because they have many to lose but could enjoy all the benefits of marriage just by dating. So what is a woman's value? It includes hard value and soft value. Hard value is your personal value, such as looks, personality, education, wealth, and family background. Soft value is basically companionship value, such as how happy you are together, how long you have been dating, and how much emotional value you could offer him. Some men do not care about your hard value, and all they see is how great you get along with each other. Some men consider your emotional value a big pressure to him if you do not match up with his hard value standard. If a man decides to marry a rich woman, you must be rich to get into a selection pool. I saw beautiful women suddenly get ghosted and did not know what was happening. It often occurs when the man has a new target. Those women dream about getting married soon since they get treated so well by being showered with cash and gifts. However, it is no problem for a rich man to spend $10,000 a month on a woman. It is just a tiny interest of their investment. Most of the time, those women do not meet their wife's standards in the first place. Reading a person and getting to know what he wants in a short period is a skill you have to master, whether for love or business. Rich men are selective and you want to be selective as well. Carefully and quickly distinguishing those who do not want to marry you saves you time. Many women know it deep in their minds but keep lying to themselves because the guy is the only one who meets their standards. So they continue investing their time and emotion and walk down the wrong way. The men have nothing to lose. They could date you casually for 10 years. But can you afford this? Your youth is worth real money? Analyzing a man through his words and behavior to uncover his subtle intention and nature is a big topic. We will reveal more details in the course. This offer ends very soon. So please check it out before seats run out. Also, if you are a member of this channel, you get further benefits for all our courses. Number three, some rich prefer a woman in the same social class, not just a woman who wants to marry rich. Men do as well for mainly three reasons. First, exclusivity and selectivity. Rich distinguish themselves from the rest of the world they want something or someone pre-selected for them before investing their valuable time. They want the best of everything. The best food, the best house, and the best people to make friends with, such as individuals who come from influential families, possess significant wealth, or hold prominent positions in society. As a result, gaining access to this elite group requires more than just financial means. It often demands a combination of social connections, reputation, and personal achievements. For example, some exclusive social golf and business clubs may require three reference letters from current members. Does it mean the door of the high society is closed to the people beneath them? That is not true. In our course, 100 Ways to Meet the Rich, we introduce plenty of ways to get into those activities for free. Second, they value the familiarity and reliability that comes with long-standing connections. Dating within their small circle allows them to build relationships with people they already know and trust, reducing the potential risks and uncertainties associated with meeting new individuals. So it would be best to set a good reputation when you are new in the elite circle, as a potential date or a business partner. Third, the rich tend to gravitate toward others with similar interests, lifestyles, and pursuits. They often engage in exclusive activities that require a certain level of financial means. By dating within their circle, they can connect with individuals who understand and appreciate their way of life. So developing a rich habit and hobby, like skiing, art, or scuba diving, opens the door to many opportunities to connect with the rich. 
Number four, the rich crave mutual respect. Ladies, marrying rich is challenging, just like any other job. You have to either kiss the ass of your boss at your work, or provide enough emotional value to your rich man. Every man is a child, and he wants a woman to take care of him, ignore his weakness, tolerate his bad habit, and forgive him. Make him the center of the world and love them unconditionally. A successful man is used to having many people surround them, making them a star in the circle, kissing their ass, and wanting something from them. So it would be best if you treated him the same way. If you do not do that, he will soon find a replacement, usually quicker than you realize. A man with money is spoiled by society. No matter how poor he used to be. Or how many times he failed, as long as he is successful now, everything he said becomes a quote, regardless of how absurd it is. They are getting used to being respected so well in public or private life. If he gets respect everywhere but not from you, he will believe it is your problem. Number five, the rich want both of you to have mutual growth together. I heard many times from my entrepreneur friends. Say that one of the most painful things in a marriage is that one is growing while the other stay in the same place. Let me share a story of a real estate developer. This man married an actress about five years ago. He was established then, but his fortune cannot be compared to his wife since she is a famous tier, one actress. He put himself in a lower position and treated her like a princess. During these five years of marriage, his career skyrocketed by developing a few apartment buildings. Still, her career went down because she was married with children. She complained often and embarrassed him several times in front of his friends by saying how she helped him financially before they married and how this marriage destroyed her career. One day, the husband wanted a divorce and could not take it anymore. On the surface. The husband looks like a jerk for receiving her financial assistance and divorcing her. However, after hearing from him, I changed my thoughts. He said he could not live arguing and fighting daily after working more than 100 hours a week. And the most important thing is that he tried to help her career by introducing new directors and investors to her to get her new acting roles. But she gets lazier by stopping working only after one year of marriage. She gets increasingly greedy to ask for his money. Still, she lives her old life as a celebrity by shopping and traveling, often with friends or herself. And she treated her husband the same way without realizing her value was going down, and his value was increasing. This caused the guy to feel unappreciated. Maintaining a happy marriage with a rich man is lifelong work. A woman has to keep her career to look good even after marrying a rich man. Or contributing to the family to demonstrate her value. So those are some generals of what most high-value men want in their wives. I hope it gives you some inspiration. Remember to check out our courses. What else do you think a high-value man wants in a wife?